Hey, what's up guys? This is Jorge Yao back with another episode of Road to Legends. Now, in this episode, I have a really special treat for you guys. So, this morning, I actually hit my personal best, which is 4999. Yeah, you heard it here first. 4999. And literally, I had one hour left to find one battle for one trophy, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't find the battle. So, I guess uh, I was just cursed that morning, or this morning. And so I hit 4999 and then I went on defense and I got one star for negative 15, uh, which left me at negative one, net negative one for the session, which was okay, I'll take that. Uh, and the reason being is, you know, if I can net even or positive for the session, um, then, I'm, then I'm good. Because then patience and focus comes into play and I'll probably get it back in the next session. So you just never want to end up too negative in one session. Uh, and then, because then you're just dip, trying to dig yourself out of a hole. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at some the actual defense. So luckily it was a guy at 4803, so he didn't take you know 19 or 18 or whatever. He took 15, which is okay. Um, you know, so I'll show you guys the replay right now of this defense. Now this base uh, I've been basically using for a while now, and with the new update, all I did was I just added walls on each of these corners. So you can see I added basically just walls. I don't know if it does anything. Uh, because this base is really designed for a ground attackers, for golems, but it also does well in terms of funneling loons. So as you can see, loons are pretty much funneling to each side. Uh, there are a few loons right there. Um, the one difference that I did make was, or change that I did make was, I had one expo on ground and I switched that back to air because um, of the new update and how they basically air troops are a little bit stronger, uh, dragons and stuff like that. So I can definitely see a lot more players probably using dra uh, dragon strategy or lava lunian strategy, air strategy basically over ground. And plus with the extra 25 walls, that doesn't affect air at all, um, but it messes with ground a lot. So right now you can see he's at 41%. So I'm thinking, okay, I might be pretty good. He, I was hoping that he would go greedy and basically drop his king and queen right there and try to go for the two star, but he has already four, he has 14 minions left, which I think he's gonna use uh, which, well, actually, I know he's going to use. So use that Hog Rider to, to basically lure out my clan castle. Now, the reason why I still use Lava Hound and Loon in my clan castle is because I never really use them to be effective against air in the first place. I really use them to, uh, to basically um, stall the enemy king and queen. Because if, uh, if there's an air attacker trying to go for a two-star, usually it's the king and queen that, tr that get the two-star done. So if you have a Lava Hound in there, it still does its job by stalling the King and Queen, uh, mainly the Queen. Um, so that comes out really handy, and you definitely want to, so I, I still use it. Um, some people like to use Dragon, and let's see, Dragon and Witch. Some people go back to 223, which is two Witches, two wizard, Wizards, and uh, three Barches. Um, but I don't know, I, this is really my first defense on Yas Squad uh, post-update, so I just wanted to give it a try. One star, still not bad. Uh, as you can see, my core is basically untouched, which is great. So right now I'm at 43%, he doesn't have many minions left. Uh, five, two archers, and six, six wall breakers. Um, he has his king and his queen. So right now, I think he's trying to pick off the, yes, he does. He tries to pick off the, uh, the extra percentage, excuse me, for the one star. So he's trying to guarantee the one star first, right? So he's at 46% and you know he's gonna get the one star. There's no doubt about it that he's gonna get the one star. So when he does that, he drops his queen down here trying to go for the two star. Now if you notice, the queen is not gonna be able to do it. Uh, I, uh, I commend his effort for trying, but there's no way that queen is gonna ever get into that town hall by herself. Especially with all these buildings there, I still have both of my inferno towers, three expos, like three of my teslas, like, and my, my king is there too, and also um, my town hall is four spaces deep, so she can't snipe my town hall from out there. She needs to destroy a wall to be able to even get in there. So that being said, there's no way that she's going to be able to uh, get that two star. So um, there you go. Um, one star, negative 15. You know, I'll take it. It was kind of a heartbreaker because, because I'll show you guys in one second why. See, looking at my attack log, I literally one starred the exact, almost the exact same base. And if I had two starred it, I would have made legends right then and there. I would have made legends right then and there. Uh, it was, it was such a heartbreaker. I, I, uh, it was such a heartbreaker. But let me show you the replay. Um, 
But again, see another base, same kind of layout, you know, that boxy layout. And see, even I have difficulty with this. Maybe um, maybe Dragons is a little bit easier. I think Dragons might be easier to two, two start this base, uh, which I'll do another episode on later on on my uh, Jorge Yao account. But for this, as you can see, I take out that top air defense first, and that bottom, uh, I take out the Archer Tower, mainly just the fences, so that my middle loons, they don't funnel around the core. So this base is designed for both loons and golems to funnel around the core because of defenses. So as you can see, around the core, it's all storages. Now, the reason why they're storages is because golems and uh, lava hounds, and, uh, or not, excuse me, golems and loons, they, they attack defenses. So, you know, they'll go around the core rather than go straight to the core. Um, because those uh, storages and pumps act as a buffer zone, basically. But, you know, if you know how to attack this base, then the strategy is not that hard to use. But again, this base is not easy to two-star. As you can see, I'm at 41%. Same thing as the guy who attacked me, 41%. And I still have one loon, one giant, seven archers, six wall breakers, six minions, and my two heroes. So at this point, I already know I'm, I want the two-star. I really want the two-star, but I'm not going to risk it because at this point, you know, I still had a lot of time left uh, in my session, right? So I was like, okay, I'll go for the one-star, and that'll get me to... Uh, 4,999, which gets me one cup away, literally one trophy, one battle, any battle, any base, any base would have gotten me to Legend League. So I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll take the easy cups, the four cups, I'm not going to risk it, uh, I'm not going to try to screw myself over and go greedy, because greed is bad. Uh, if you watched one of my previous episodes, greed is bad. Um, so yeah, you can see, you know, I easy one star at 48%, and then I just drop my queen to get the, uh, the extra 2%. And then that's basically it. Um, so yeah, king's there, forty-nine percent. And then you'll see me drop the. I don't even need. I don't even know why I dropped the giant, but you'll see in a second why I dropped the giant. And then a queen. And then uh, GG one percent. But at this point, I'm still thinking like, man, I really want that one star. But you know, I don't even know why uh, I dropped the giant with it. Um, to be honest, there was no point. <laughs> but anyway, I got—I wanted to ensure that I at least got more than 50% just in case, and then boom, I ended it. Uh, but that was gut-wrenching because at 4999, you're like, oh, oh, so close, so close. But then, you know, you gotta, you gotta play the odds, right? I'm like, you know, I still have, you know, two hours left in my session. Chances are I'll probably find at least one base, at least. And, you know, luck was not on my side this time around, and I did not find that one base. Now, let's go ahead and look at another attack where I did two stars. So I actually had a pretty decent session. You know, again, I, uh, I gained, I think, six, 14, 14, no. I gained, yeah, 14 trophies and I lost 15. So this is this base, again, I've, I've already demoed this base already once before and I showed you how to attack it uh, on my Road to Legends. I dropped three loons down there to take out that archer tower. Now the reasoning behind that is, now my I, all I need are a few archers and a few minions and literally that can rip out, let's see, two, four, six, eight percent right there for free because there's nothing that'll attack it in range basically. And then that's when I go for uh, both the uh, air sweepers, so you notice that I kind of surgical loonian those air sweepers, so I get those out first, and then boom, I lava loonian that top, and really they just go wreck in. So it's really standardized, you know, you have that like Mickey Mouse ear shaped rage spell, three rage spells, and then you have the two free spells on the right and the left. Luckily it was two single target inferno, so it didn't really have an issue with that. Um, and then you can see at the bottom, they're still doing work on their percentages. And those, that 8% or whatever makes a huge difference because, you know, at this point, if I, um, with these minions that I'm attacking right now, uh, you know, without, eight, without that 8%, I'd be kind of worried, like, should I even go for the 2-star? So right now I'm at 49% and 50% with this. So that, those, that, those bases down here, uh, or these, uh, buildings down here really made the difference. And I was like, okay, I already have the 1-star, I'm safe. Now let's, let's go for the 2-star. Now, as you can see, I dropped my king down here for a reason. Uh, now, because if I drop my queen with him, he, the queen will go exactly. Even if I drop my queen up here, like where the versus uh, thing uh, words are and where my clan castle is uh, troops are, she would go around and follow the king to this area, and that's what I don't want. So with the king taking out those buildings right there, it means that the queen has a direct line of sight. See, as you can see, I drop my queen and she has a direct line of sight to the town hall, to the core. I drop my poison because I know the, the um, skeleton traps are there. So in Lava Lunion, uh, I'm not using my earthquake or whatever, I'm using poison spell because it's still effective. And there you go, two star, three cups, not a problem. 
So that, that does it for this episode of Road to Legends. You know, I'm so close. Luck, hopefully I can gain another uh, 16 trophies tonight's session. Or if I can't, at least, uh, you know, don't get too hit, don't get, excuse me, don't get hit too hard on defense and maybe break even. But I do have a one day shield and one day in 11 hours. So I have a session tonight, uh, which brings me to about 24 hours and then uh, 12 hour shield. So I have another session. Um, and then basically I have to go defense, defense tonight, two more defenses, of defenses, excuse me, can't even talk, two more defenses until I have a one day shield where I can have a free session and then play another session on top of that once the one day shield runs out. So that being said, again, this good concludes it for this episode of Road to Legends. I was so close, so close, 4999. Um, again, if you liked this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.